Okay, today we'll be opening up this STP oil filter, number S2, and this Fleet Guard oil filter, number LF16002. And I got this STP oil filter at AutoZone for $6.49, but I got this Fleet Guard oil filter for free. Yep, a very generous viewer who works in the heavy-duty trucking industry from Nashville, Tennessee, sent me this Fleet Guard oil filter. Thank you. And these two filters, I got to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is the network. You got a new vessel coming. Get nice and tight. Get your hand up here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the STP and we'll start with the box. This filter's ready for 5,000 miles. We look over here, we'll see some filters that it replaces. And see product for country of origin. And that's about all the in important information on this box. So let's open this filter box up and see what this filter looks like. And we got a date code 11282281. Made in USA. Yeah, here you got a sticker. And this STP has eight inlet holes. Kind of small holes, but looks to be a nitro rubber and drain back valve. About four grooves there for threads. Metal core with holes. Bypass valve down below. And nitro rubber gasket. Which looks on the thin side. Comes off easy also. Let's look at the fleet guard. The fleet guard comes sealed in this plastic that I already opened up. And date code 22185-1822. Made in Mexico. And this is all printed on. Got some instructions here. And the fleet guard has eight inlet holes, metal core louvers, bypass valve down below, and also about four grooves there for threads, and a nitro rubber gasket, which Comes out real easy. Also on the thin side. Okay. Base plates are pretty similar. Alright, let's open these two filters up and see what's inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The STP weighs 309.5 grams. The Fleet Guard weighs 414.7 grams. Take a look at the gaskets. Yeah, the fleet guard's a little bit thinner. But they they both should do a good job. And base plates. Fleet guard, 171.7 grams. The STP, 171.2 grams, 4 grams. They're almost identical in weight. And let's see the threads. Threads, yeah, they're pretty close. Notice the uh, STP's got like a little rust here. Yeah, these base plates are pretty pretty equal. Equal in the, I'd say these inlet holes are a little smaller on the STP though, but otherwise, pretty equal. And any drain back valves, they both got nitro rubber, any drain back valves. Cover up the inlet holes. And filter elements. Fleet guard, 138.4 grams. The STP, 44.2 grams. Let's take a look at the STP. We got a glued seam right here. And I counted. 36 pleats, pretty deep pleats. We got these cardboard end caps. This is a enhanced cellulose media, but I couldn't find a micron rating for this. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. They could put more pleats in here though. There, there's space, you know, quite a bit of spacing in between. Okay, and the fleet guard. Fleet Guard's got a metal crimp seam right here. Metal end caps, bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 8 PSI. A little glue right there, not bad. Otherwise, it's pretty clean. There's a little 
glue on the edges here too in the inside. In the fleet guard I counted 52 pleats, so a lot more pleats. And I'm gonna put this on the screen. You know, they got they they have this rated at as a um cellulose media with a micron rating of 100 percent at 25 microns but when you look at this it looks more like a uh, it's more like a synthetic filter media that's what it looks like to me it looks kind of like you know it's nice and soft i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe they got the they don't have it listed right uh, we'll see later on when I open it up and stretch it out, see what it looks like. See what it looks like under a microscope. Okay, the cans, well, inside the cans, you got spring, coil spring on the fleet guard. And stamp leaf spring here for the stamp leaf spring bypass valve, actually, um, for the STP. Fleet guard. 79.3 grams, STP, 70.4 grams. I was getting about 4, 0.42. 0.4, yeah, 0 0.441 millimeters, 42. Same thing with this wheat guard, I was getting about the same. 0.43 millimeters. Yeah, they're, they're both. I'd, I'd say they're both feel. They feel about the same. And the widths. Let's see. STP. 2.62 inches wide. And the fleet guard. 2.22 inches wide. So it looks like the fleet guard's gonna have more filter media. It's got more pleats. All right, let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are both stretched out. And the STP filter is 49 inches long. And the fleet guard filter is 75 inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. The STP, 0.93 millimeters thick. And the Fleet Guard, 0.92 millimeters thick. So we'll get these guys up close. This is a front side filtering side, back side. And I took a microscope picture of both of these filters, plus I put one with this hole, these holes, see these little holes? So I got three pictures there. And um, let's take a look at those. So you can see where the, on the fleet guard, where this, these little holes are, there's a, uh, a lot of light there, so that's not even really filtering too good there. And it's throughout the whole filter. You can see them all over. Another thing I didn't know was the fleet guard has a screen backing, metal screen backing. So there's all this stuff was behind it. But looking at the microscope pictures, I would say these two filters would do a pretty good job of filtering, except for these little holes. I don't understand why these little holes are there. These holes ain't all the way through. They're not all the way through, but they're almost all the way through. Not quite. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the STP gasket is a little bit... A little bit thicker, but these guys are pretty, pretty good. Both pretty good. 
base plates and any drain back valves, I give these both a tie. Uh, we got you got these cardboard end caps, you got the metal end caps, you got holes versus louvers. Let's take a look at this louvers here. There, you can see they're all opened up in there. Yeah. And you got a coil spring because this one has this type of bypass valve and this one has a stamp leaf spring bypass valve. So I guess that's a matter of preference. The cans, they're pretty much the same thickness. I probably should have used the STP extended life oil filter. Maybe it would have been a better comparison. And again, I want to thank the viewer from Nashville, Tennessee for sending me this Fleet Guard oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The STP filter media weighs 15.6 grams. The Fleet Guard filter media weighs 18.4 grams.